are the first to call themselves the Assassins. Assassin's Creed Origins is out on October 27, and while most of what to expect has been leaked, intentionally or otherwise, some finer details of the game have emerged in terms of how the game world of ancient Egypt was designed, how combat plays out, and much more. Here's what you need to know. Previous Assassin's Creed entries could feel like an entire game world that was broken down to smaller areas or levels, particularly the earlier games due to technical limitations. With Assassin's Creed Origins, care has been taken to show ancient Egypt as a continuous landmass replete with deserts and pyramids. It's similar to Far Cry, Far Cry Primal to be exact, in the sense that opting for a single sprawling sandbox results in a varied approach to missions. You could scout locations while using your eagle to mark targets, as well as noting entry points and escape routes. While traversing on horseback, there's a sense of scale with dunes and temples and rivers dotting the landscape. This could lead to a host of interactions between the player and Assassin's Creed Origins many systems that are as unique and over the top as we've seen in the Far Cry games. Sure, Assassin's Creed Origins gives you some skills similar to past titles, but they're handled extremely differently here with a focus on versatility. The most prominent upgrade is with combat, which allows you to now wade through groups of enemies while carrying larger weapons like swords and axes and deal damage to them all in a single strike. Plus, the combat system's extended range of techniques means that buttons are remapped, allowing for a separate shield plus counterattack buttons in addition to strong and light attacks and the ability to jump and dodge as a swift evasion tactic. Linked to the retooled combat is an equally exhaustive weapons and tool system, with blades, bows, and a wide range of heavier and longer instruments with which to bludgeon enemies into the ground. These can be acquired from vendors or looted from fallen foes. The latter may also be hugely desirable prizes with a degree of rarity attached. Your weapons and tools grow more powerful with use. They can also be modified using crafting techniques or fashioned given the right components. You may carry two ranged weapons, such as bows plus two melee weapons, each with their own unique base capabilities and perks. They affect combat performance in terms of speed and strength, and the more powerful they become, the higher your experience level needs to be to wield them. Yes, this is similar to role-playing games, specifically MMORPGs such as World of Warcraft and Final Fantasy XIV. Like Destiny 2, you'll have to gain experience to tackle tougher foes in Assassin's Creed Origins. They're denoted with red bars that indicate you need to take on other quests before progressing. Early on, you can choose which quests to partake in, be it collecting animals' resources or rescuing prisoners before taking on the main storyline. It could also make Assassin's Creed Origins more of a grind compared to past entries, but the upside could be a game that stresses on immersion and exploration over a linear narrative that the previous titles had. With October being a crowded month, featuring the likes of Middle Earth Shadow of War, Forza 7, and Wolfenstein The New Colossus to name a few, will you be checking out Assassin's Creed Origins? Let us know in the comments. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Gadgets360. If you're interested in more gaming news and analysis, you can check out Transition, Gadgets360's gaming and pop culture podcast on iTunes or on our website, Gadgets360.com.